you can see they break off easily. There's no moisture inside and that makes it much more flammable than the live trees. The problem is this area used to be an old sawmill site, so there's lots of wood chip on the ground, sawdust. So when the fire starts, it takes hours to contain. House where the shooting happened is right behind me down the street there by the stop sign. As you can see, the coroner's van is still outside. And police tape still surrounding the house. Officials say the park gets really packed the week before New Year's and during the busy season, they can get up to 4,500 people per day. In business news this morning, there are not one but two Walmart Supercenters in the early planning stages in Chico. Hundreds of parents in Shasta County send their kids to preschool, hoping it would give them a heads up in early education. To the people who live in the city of Shasta Lake, this was the sound of hope. CDF trucks and helicopters working hard to contain the 200-acre blaze that came too close for comfort to about 50 homes in the area. John Pollan and his wife got out fast when they saw flames less than 300 feet away from their backyard. We just wanted to get everybody out. We weren't really worried about the house. Everything's insured. We just wanted to get the dog out and we wanted to get the business trucks out of here so we could still make a living. Fire officials had expected to contain the blaze on Wednesday night, but the steep terrain and other natural conditions made that impossible. One of the big things that's keeping the firefighters from getting this fire under control is these dry, dead brush. As you can see, they break off easily. There's no moisture inside, and that makes it much more flammable than the live trees. Okay, I tell you what, I'm up in... Philip uh, Bluthard had to sleep in his truck for a few hours on Tuesday night, and the first thing he did the morning after was put out signs thanking the firefighters for what they did. Thank you so very much. Words can't express how grateful we are. We appreciate it. More bags were being checked in at the Reading Municipal Airport on Thursday. This after the Department of Homeland Security raised the national threat level to orange. That means extra precaution and extra questions for passengers about what they were bringing on board. From mouthwash to alcohol, you can see people throwing these things away at airports across the U.S. this morning because of the new regulations. Some of the other items banned from your carry-on bags include bottled water, suntan lotion, toothpaste, and hair gel. Like that. Joan Castleberry, who is traveling to Nebraska to visit her fiancé, made some last-minute packing changes after she watched the morning news. Got up, turned on ABC, and went, oh my goodness, this isn't looking good for me. So I rearranged all my stuff. Unlike big airports like SFO or LAX, there were no long lines or major delays to deal with in Reading. And the passengers we talked to seem to be taking the extra security in stride. It's not too big of a hindrance, and uh, you know that their purpose is to keep us safe, so it's not a big problem. Summer is just around the corner, and what a better way to kick it off than with a good old-fashioned fair. In Shasta County, the annual fair is built deep on tradition. Agriculture and livestock have been the mainstay for the past 84 years. The students taking part in Saturday's animal auction say they look forward to the excitement every year. In the show ring, it gets pretty intense, and uh, it's a lot of fun in there, and just getting the satisfaction of, you know, placing high in your class or selling your animal for a pretty good profit. The fun continues outside the barn. There are plenty of rides and games for the young and the young at heart. I took a shot at a basketball challenge and did pretty well. And of course, like any other fair, there will be plenty of food here. Actually, I'm getting pretty hungry. Can I get a nacho, please? There you go. Thank you. One mother of two says with kids out of school, the fair will keep them busy for a few days. It's just a lot of fun for the kids to run around and have a good time, and it's not too hot today. It's really nice. Organizers have been working hard all year to put together this five-day event, and they are ready for everyone to have some fun. There's plenty of entertainment and food and a good time, and like I said, good weather. It always hinges on weather, and when it's nice like this, it's hard to beat. And and I'm standing here live with Curly and Dusty, the cowboys of the fair here. They're having a lot of fun. Yeah, and we're, yeah, we'll take her I think they want to take me with yeah, them. Yeah. So you know what? I'll pass it back to you. I'll be back here at 530 on more on this exciting event. Yeah, yeah.